line so far. Into the windup and the pitch. And a strike called at the letters. Looked high to me, but it's nothing in one. Here's the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Kim's there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Ready for another shot now. Ken Griffey Jr. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Slapped hard the opposite way. And a base hit there is Junior's aboard. Giancarlo Stanton will get a chance in the inning following the base hit. Giancarlo Stanton now. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. One left for Seattle. They could use a good cup of ambition. It's 9-5. to five. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting outfielder, Young Soo Kim. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. A little roller toward the hole. Underhanded flip. Go on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Devin Travis will stand in now as we take you back to the very first inning as he got him going early. A grand slam right out of the gates. And the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Both teams right now with 11 hits in the ballgame. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Caught off at the plate and we'll do it again. Well when you're hitting with two strikes you're just in battle mode right there he gets a breaking ball he just fouled it off got a piece of it and stays alive. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Next for the Blue Good game. job of making him chase a pitch better. for the strikeout there. Duncan yeah, Matt, Ponce. that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Way in front of that fastball. And here's a ball hit in the air. Calling for it, Freeman. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Freddie Freeman. Leading He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. First baseman, Freddie Freeman. Into the windup and the pitch. Line drive to center field. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. I know it's getting late in the game, but that is a big leadoff hit. Maybe now they can start to close that Mike gap. Zunina. Digging in now, Your Mike Zanino. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last Number time zero. up. Joel Cruz. Runners off for second. Hit sharply on the ground. And a perfect hit and run ball as that's into right field, a base hit. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Well, that's back to back singles and first and third. Well, so, right here, seven, you got a pitch to get a strikeout, and then the next Ray hitter, hopefully, Turner. you get a double play and you can get out of it. But right here, you got a pitch to get the strikeout to set up a chance to Your get out of it. Joe Biagini will come on game. in relief here and appear in game one. number 20. five on the year so far. Wilson Contreras will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. And some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right-hander starts to get loose. 
A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Pitch swung on and missed. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Putting a lot of pressure on him here to start the inning. Runners on the corners, and they send the runner from first. Got in there safely, and now that takes the double play possibility away and gives them two guys in scoring position. 0-1, here's the pitch. Swinging a ball, hit on the ground. But this will get foul for strike two. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. That makes it a 9-6 to six contest oh, now. Man. Well, that's a that nice infield single. And was he flying down the line or what? But, man, he used to say, hey, he's smelling that base hit right there. He was digging for that hit. Settling in now, D. Gordon. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result. He's not a long ball. And hold on there. He got him trying to swipe second base, but he's gunned down for the out. The 0 1 pitch runs up and gets this one down. And he'll get in there safely. So credit him with an RBI as he really caught him by surprise there by dropping that down. Left fielder, Billy Hamilton. Into the box, Billy Hamilton. Pitch inside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Hey, you don't see that very often against this guy. This guy has one of the best arms in the game, but still a successful steal of second base. One out and a runner on second base. And the runner's breaking for third. On attempt misses. The throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Hey, one of the keys to stealing third is to get a big lead off the second, and that's just what happened, even though this catcher has a cannon for an arm. Runs up and gets this one down. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the run is in to score from third. So credit him with an RBI as he really caught him by surprise there by dropping that down. Sid Seth. Stepping in now, Sid Sisk. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Kim will have plenty of room as he makes the catch, and there's a big out number two. Ready once third again, number Kyle Seeger. He's doubled Kyle and Seager. singled in four at-bats in this contest. First offering on its way. A pitch out. The throw. Not in time as he's able to thwart the pitch out. So he swipes second despite the pitch out. Yeah, it seemed like everyone in the building knew he was going to be running there, right? Didn't make a difference, though. He got a great jump and absolutely burnt. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Kim going back at the track. The wall. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. A two-run home run off the bat of Kyle Seeger. He creeps closer now, his 71st on the season. And they've taken a one-run lead. Boy, when the leading MVP candidate steps into the box, I'm not sure it's wise to challenge him, especially with a pitch like this. But they do, and he makes them pay for their mistake. He's been doing this all year long. For Toronto, 
Number three. So with a left hand. Pickman. Into the box now. Ken Griffey Jr. Liner towards second. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. We've played eight full. It's the Mariners 10, the Blue Jays 9. Back now in the beautiful Pacific Northwest as we're set for what's left of this one from Safeco Field. Joel Koo will this stay in the ball the game Mariners. as he'll take over at first base. first base. Wilson Contreras Number zero. will stay in the ball game Joel as he'll likely do the catching Koo. from here out. Edwin Diaz Mariners. comes on from Number the pen three hoping three to finish this one off Edwin here in the top of the yeah. ninth. So striding in, Danny Acevedo, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Ninth Acevedo. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Now the 0-2 pitch, and he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Coming to the plate now, Kevin Pillar. He's homered and doubled in four trips, so he's definitely been a factor. In there, 0-1. Out of play. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Stanton has a read on it, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Man, they've already put the all time winning streak record in their rear view mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. And it's a 10 to 9 final at the end of this one. The M's with a big 17 hit attack. Dylan Batances gets the win in relief his second of the year. Edwin Diaz closes the door for the save his 30th. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Ten runs, 17 hits. One error, they left six men on base. For the Blue Jays, nine runs, 11 hits. No errors. They left two men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 19 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.